This is an assignment where we can mix portrait mode and landscape mode photos, but we need to make sure that all of our photos are an appropriate size. So I'm going to start by taking my first photo and uh, the, the photos that I'm going to use, and I'm going to place it onto Photoshop, open up Photoshop. Photoshop is loading and initializing. And I can already tell that this is a very large photo. It's 9 inches by 7 inches. So let's go to image size. And uh, not only that, but it's also 180 dpi, which is a little more dpi than what I really want. Um, now that I know the size of it, I'm going to use the crop tool. If we can find the crop tool, there it is. There's the crop tool. And, um, well, let's see now. This is set up for 6.5 by 5 inches and 72 dpi. That actually isn't so bad. I'll hold with that. And uh, I've got the crop that I want. I don't need to fix that just a little bit. I got the crop that I want. I'll say OK. Then I'm going to save this, use the save for web. And I'm going to use JPEG High. This is going to turn out to be a 63K photo. I'll go ahead and tell it to save. And um, Let's go ahead and save this to our file locker. I'm going to go ahead and put it in images. And I'm going to call this Photo Gallery 1. OK. So I can click to close this off. I'm not going to save because I don't want to uh, alter what we've done. Here's my second picture. The crop tool is uh, has the same dimensions. I'll come through, grab that, and I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go down to, say, for web and devices. It remembers from last time that it was uh, Photoshop High is going back to the uh, images folder. We'll call this Photo Gallery 02. Well, I'm going to pause the uh, recording for right now. Well, but while I while we're paused, we're going to go ahead and finish cropping out and making sure that the DPI is set for the remaining photos for our photo gallery. Well, I finished out doing the editing in Photoshop on my photos. And we can come in here and we can see that in our file locker, I have gallery photos number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm going to have seven photos in my photo gallery. If you haven't finished already editing your photos in Photoshop, you need to do so at this time.